What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing something a little bit different. So lads, my league content seems to be picking up big time, and huge shout out to I'm Click for a lot of serious idea, this is something that I did last year for the first time, but huge shout out to him for kind of making me realize that maybe I can start to do a little bit of my league, because you know what, there's only a finite amount of my team that I can physically, well not that I can physically play, that I can play without going crazy. So, you know what, I'm going to try this out. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But uh, let me know what you guys think. But anyway, this is going to be a bit of a weird series. So, we're going to be going over four years, and it's what if Galaxy Opal Taco Fall was in the NBA. So Taco Fall for the um, Boston Celtics. If you guys have seen his stats, I'm going to put his Galaxy Opal stats and badges on the screen right now. So he has got absolutely incredible, incredible stats. He's a 99 overall card. And also has, well, not many Hall of Fame badges, 499 overall. He's got a lot of Hall of Fame badges. So we're going to have a look at his attributes now. And I have made them all the exact same. So maybe I'm off on one or two um, stats by one or two, but... I'm almost certain that these are all the exact same, except I don't think it's speed of 70, I don't think it's speed of 71, I think it's speed of 70. Yeah, so I'm probably off with maybe one or two in certain stats because I may have clicked one extra, but basically, basically the exact same card. And then badges. Um, we have got some of them equipped, so a lot of them Hall of Fame, a couple of golds, uh, very few playmaking badges, and yeah, should be an overall really, really good player. So keep changes and yeah we have got taco fall so first things first we are going to change up the game plan and we're going to take out daniel tice and we're going to replace him with taco fall and then grant williams is going to be out of lineup so give daniel tice most of the bench minutes for a big Give him most of Robert Williams' minutes, and yeah, um, actually no, give him all of Candy's minutes. <laughs> give him nearly all of Candy's minutes. Yeah, I'm good with that. So Daniel Thais is our sixth man. Um, let's reduce minutes of everyone by a little bit, just so we can give Taco more minutes. And I, like, I don't even mind actually play him 19 minutes a game. There we go. We're good with that. No Taco being the main focus of the team. Okay, so now we are going to simulate a couple of games. So I'm going to simulate up until Christmas and let's see how the Boston Celtics get on and see how Taco Fall does. So somehow, somehow, um, oh, that's a really good trade. That is a really, really good trade. Let me have a look at this. So let's have a look at the contract situation. Um, Bielitsa is on... He's on a two-year deal, and I really want to re-sign Taco Fall, so. I'm going to decline trade, but that is not a bad option, to be honest. But we somehow lost to the New York Knicks. We killed the Sixers. We beat the Bucks. We beat the Raptors. And we lose to the New York Knicks. Come on, 2K. How unrealistic is this? We are 9-1. and one. Um... We are 9-1 and one, the only... Okay, so... No. I'll trade Marcus Smart for a first round pick in each one more. Are you crazy, 2K? Are you crazy? Team is 11-2 and two to start off the season. And a loss against Golden State. We have lost to the Knicks and Golden State. Ooh, that's interesting. That's interesting. We're going to negotiate this because... We don't... We want to keep Taco Fall... Oh, this is a this is a tough one. If, if Fred Van Vliet didn't play the same position as our best player, I would do this in a heartbeat. But I'm going to decline the trade. I do that piece again. We do need some salary space, salary cap space to get tackle false. We probably will need to trade away one of our players in order to re-sign him with the Celtics. So no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to take that trade. So Daniel Thais is out for four or six weeks. Um, CPU just rotation. Let's see what that does. I assume that puts us in um, 
in decent enough territory. So right now we've got 74% chemistry. Got we're 16 and 3 record. So doing okay. Okay, so on Christmas Day we lose to the Toronto Raptors to go in 23 and 5. Alright, so let's have a look at the standings. So we are top by a mile in the Eastern Conference, and we are four games ahead of the Clippers with the second best record. We are so far ahead. Oh my god. Let's have a look at the um, stats right here. So let's have a look at player stats for the Celtics. So Taco Fall is only averaging 10 points a game. However, he is averaging 18.4 rebounds per game. 18.4. He's only shooting 47% from the field. Shooting 32% from three. And only 70% from the line, which is not great. However, the team is obviously playing well. And he's, I'm, I assume, I assume in terms of, um, what's well, in terms of awards, if there is any, he'll be right up there. So like league leaders in rebounds, I assume he has to be the leading league in rebounds. He is leading the league in rebounds by four rebounds per game. And he's also second in the league only to Rudy Gobert in blocks per game. And he is currently fourth in the Eastern Conference front court in all-star votes. So he is actually the, it's only him and Kemba actually. He has more votes than um, Jason Tatum. So he could end up being an all-star here while averaging 10 points a game. So now we're gonna simulate till right before the trade deadline because right before the all-star game, because we will have to probably make, um, we'll have to make a couple of trades in order to get enough cap space to keep Taco Fall because let's be real, Oh, he's out one to two. He's out one to two. So, um, that's unfortunate right there. Out one to two weeks. So let's see how the team gets on in the absence of Taco Fall. And will that make him an all-star or will he lose his all-star spot because of that? Okay, so I think this is a trade that in the short term I might want to take and see how we get on. Because Kemba is better, but it also means that we... We don't have Kemba on the books anymore. As much as we like Kemba, we do need to re-sign Taco Fall, who is a lot more of a player. So I'm going to accept this offer, and I'm gonna try and make another trade. So you have this trade right here that is on the cards as well. Um, so Enos Cantor for Nemanja Bialica, and I'm going to accept this trade as well. Okay, so we're gonna go Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, DeMar DeRozan, Jason Tatum, Daniel Tice. Obviously, we're gonna change it up a little bit once Taco Fall comes back. And yeah, so we're swapping our sixth man from Marcus Smart to Gordon Hayward. That actually does make our team a little bit better, to be honest, and Bielitsa is definitely a um, upgrade that we had. So we're gonna simulate to right up to the All-Star game now. Okay, this is an interesting proposal right here. So we can get Jay, we can get Derrick Rose and Luke Kennard for Jalen Brown and Vincent Poirier. It gives us a better point guard, and we can slot Marcus Smart into the two. And it also, actually, or we can just play with Luke Kennard at two. It helps our depth, but it does make us worse at a two guard position. So I'm going to decline the trade for now and in hope that we'll be able to keep Jalen Brown because DeRozan's gone for next year but we should be team should be looking pretty good because of that okay this is actually a is a trade I'm 100% gonna take Devontae Graham for Marcus Smart straight up I'm taking that I am 100% taking that trade Accept the offer. And I'm definitely declining this trade. Okay, so let's have a look at the all-star team. So the all-star team. So the starters, it is LeBron James. Taco Fall is an all-star starter on Team LeBron. And Team Giannis, of course, it's going to be LeBron versus Giannis. Let's see, did any other Celtics make the team other than Taco Fall? No, they didn't. Taco Fall's the only one, so... The all-star break in terms of see, standings. 
Celtics are seven games ahead of the Brooklyn Nets and are six games ahead of the Clippers in terms of overall records. So obviously the best team in the NBA by a mile at the minute. And then let's have a look at the player stats. So Tatum is leading the team of points. DeRozan is in second. Devontae Graham with 21.2 is in third. Jalen Brown 18.2. Uh, well, to be fair, a lot of these were trades, but some serious, serious scoring from these players. And Taco falls down to only 9.3 points, and his rebounds have gone down from 18 to only 17. Blocks are gone down as well. Wow, that's uh, his three-point shooting's gone up though. Uh, field goal percentage is quite poor as well. But still, though, he is an all-star starter for this season. So, obviously, can't um, hang up too much about that. Has he got any uh, player of the weeks? Devontae Graham actually has a player of the week, and he has no player of the week. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. In awards races, he is out in front in defensive player of the year. He is also leading the rookie of the year voting while averaging 9.3 points per game, which is a little bit crazy. But um, yeah, so Zion injured. Absolute shock right there. So now we're going to simulate till the end of the season and see how we get on. Okay, so five games to go and all five, all five are won at 70 wins for the Boston Celtics. So 66 right here, 67. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. The Boston Celtics do not come out with 70 wins in Taco Fall's rookie year. So, in the end, Kawhi Leonard wins most valuable player for the Clippers. Taco Fall wins rookie of the year, averaging only 9.7 points. Although he does average 16.9 boards, 1.4 steals, 2.4 blocks, and actually gets about 50% from the field. And nearly 40% from three as well. That's a bit of a surprise, but to be fair, we can't forget that this is the Opal Taco Fall. And also Taco Fall ends up winning the Defensive Player of the Year award. So uh, yeah, with Brad Stevens winning Coach of the Year for 69 wins. All-NBA first team, he's not there. All-NBA second team, he's not there either. And All-NBA third team. So he goes and wins Defensive Player of the Year. And does not make any of the All-NBA third team. Or all of the NBA any of the all so he ends up winning defensive player of the year and doesn't make any of the three all nba teams then defensive thankfully he is on the first team and all rookie first team he is on that so now we are going to go on to the playoffs so boston Celtics had a one seed against the cleveland cavaliers so simulate this round and celtics go to a 2-0 lead at home 3-0 and take out the brooms it is a sweep and it's the Milwaukee Bucks who come out in a seven-game series against the 76ers with Giannis dropping 31 in Game 7. Ben Simmons only having nine points in Game 7. And Joel Embiid being outscored by Ish Smith as well. And the Sixers. Sixers are out here choking. So 2-0 lead, a 3-0 lead. And take out the brooms again. It is the Boston Celtics versus the... Ka not the Kawhi Leonard, versus the Siakam-led... Uh, Toronto Raptors and the Western Conference Finals is an all LA battle after the Golden State Warriors make uh, as a two seed end up making the playoffs. Okay, so I'm guessing Clay and Steph are playing. And ooh, Toronto Raptors are the only team to take a game off the Boston Celtics in the playoffs so far. So making finals only losing one game. So the Celtics with Gordon Hale with 31, Taco Fall only with nine points, but 16 boards, a block, and pretty okay game only taking six shots right there okay so let's i'm gonna simulate game okay so we're gonna simulate these games with simcast so let's have a look to see so early on in the game the clippers are pulling away in the garden the celtics are trying to come back here and it's the clippers still pulling away okay and half time or at the end of the first it is the clippers who have been in complete control of this game. Celtics are keeping it tight, but the Clippers have had control from start to finish. And just as it looks like the Celtics are going to get back in, the Clippers pull away again. It's one of those games where every single time the Celtics pull back, the Clippers are pulling even more away. And MVP Kawhi Leonard seems to have 
led the Clippers to an upset game one in the garden. Maybe a, four, a massive four quarter comeback needed and it's it's not looking like it's not going to happen. The Clippers have won all three quarters so far by a small amount. So a big comeback though in the fourth quarter from the Boston Celtics who take the lead momentarily. But it looks like MVP Kawhi may have held out for the win and the Clippers win by four points. With DeRozan scoring 32 points and Graham 22. So it is the two guys that I traded for that have managed to... Um, scored most points however for the Los Angeles Clippers how can I see that it was Kawhi Leonard with 33 points which uh, seems to be a big one right there so now we are going to check I'm gonna go on to game number two right here so game number two in the garden as well it is the Clippers that pull away early at the start of the game and what appears to be a repeat of game number two. However, the Boston Celtics finally take the lead in the series. A very, very brief lead in game one in the fourth quarter after a big comeback. But a 42 point second quarter right there by the Boston Celtics has gotten them all the momentum coming into the third. And a big lead at home for the Celtics. Looking like they're going to cruise to victory here in game number two of the series to even it up. Who knows, maybe that game one was a fluke or... You just never know. So the Clippers have taken home court advantage after splitting the first two games. And yeah, the Boston Celtics are very, very comfortably going to come out with the win right here in this game. So look at the box score. Jalen Brown with 24, Tatum with 22, Graham with 21, DeRozan only with 11, and Taco Fall with 10, but he had 20 rebounds in that game. Taco Fall's getting a lot of turnovers, that'd be fair. And it was Lou Williams, actually who was the top scorer, Marcus Morris picking up an injury, and Kawhi with only 11 points in that game. So the series is one each right now, going on to game number three, the first game in Los Angeles. Okay, early on, just like in games one and two, it is the away team that have gotten a little bit of a lead. So Celtics building up an early 10 point lead here in the first. The Clippers seem to be clawing back into the game though. But um, Boston's going to hope that it's similar to the first couple of games, but it does not look like it. Um, the Clippers are starting to get in a little bit more control. However, the Celtics are pulling away now here at the end of the second quarter. A six-point game at halftime and a big 8-0 run to start off the third quarter. Makes this a double-digit game for Boston in LA. A double-digit lead here going into the fourth quarter. And... Looking like this might be too much to come back from. They're going to need a game one star comeback. And they're going to need Kawhi to step up big time. The loss of Marcus Morris may be a big factor. And it's looking like the Celtics are going to take home court advantage right back. Unless a major comeback by the Clippers, which does not look like it's going to happen. And a comfortable 19 point win there for the Boston Celtics. Off the back of a 35 point game from Jalen Brown, 30 from Tatum, 14 Graham DeRozan. And Taco Fall only with 7 points and 11 rebounds, which is a not good performance from him. However, he was plus 26 when he was on the floor. For them, Lou Williams, the top scorer with 17. Kawhi Leonard has now been injured. That's probably it for the finals. That is probably it for these finals. With, with a Kawhi Leonard injury, it doesn't look like the Clippers stand much of a chance. And they seem to be completely demoralized, going down 12-0 to start off game four. A little bit of a comeback, but... The Celtics team should have way, way too much for this Los Angeles Clippers team without Kawhi Leonard. So, unless that was a minor injury, you just never know, though. The Clippers are starting to get a little bit of control in this game, but the Celtics take the lead right back, just like that. Going to be a big, big second half here, and we'll see who pulls away. It's looking like it's going to be the Celtics, though, with a 45-point second quarter away from home. And even though the Clippers did initially come back there in the third quarter, is the Celtics that seem to be pulling away a little bit. Every time the Clippers are coming back, the Celtics seem to have an answer. And even though this is a close game going into the fourth, my money's on the team that has a 99 overall taco fall and a bunch of scorers. And considering the Clippers don't have Kawhi Leonard, yeah, it is, it is at the end of the game where that makes the big difference with the Celtics pulling away here in the end. So Devontae Graham was the leading scorer in that game. Tackle fall only with 10 points, but he had 20 rebounds, 4 assists, and 4 blocks. So a big game for him. And Kawhi actually came back right there, but Paul George on with 13 points. 
So now we are into the game number four, which, so game number five in Boston, which is likely going to be the last game in the series. If I'm gonna be completely honest, the Celtics went and took two games in Los Angeles off the Clippers, and it is very unlikely the Celtics lose this game on their home court. And a massive start to the second quarter from Boston makes this a near 20 point game at halftime. It would be an absolute disaster. An absolute disaster if um, the Clippers came back and managed to win from here. Now it's a 30 point game in the third quarter. That is game over. The Boston Celtics are going to win championship number 18 for the franchise. Which was to be fair, it was to be expected a couple of years ago, but I don't think anyone was expecting Taco Fall to be leading the team to a front or to their first championship in 12 years. So we're going to jump in at the very end of this game in a 40 point win in game five of the NBA Finals. So the Celtics with the gentleman sweep. So Taco with th only three points. Only three points in game five of the NBA Finals, but 22 rebounds for the 99 overall Taco Fall. And it just seems like that is pretty much, well, that is all she wrote. Like, Devontae Graham having a great finals. He could be in line. I'd say it's between Devontae Graham and Jalen Brown, who I was considering trading away. Considering trading away Jalen Brown for, was it Derrick Rose I was considering trading away for? Which is a little bit crazy. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. A 40-point game five win in the finals. 20 points there for Hayward, 22 for Graham, 24 for Tatum, 20 for Brown. I wonder what DeRozan had. And yeah, that's a really solid win right there with Taco Fall as the, obviously the big defensive player and rebounder for the squad. That is the championship right there. Going up, elevate, watch me demonstrate, on time, never late, I grind, celebrate, no pump fake, hesitate, I've been scoring every day, champagne, Perrier. And finals MVP is Taco Fall. He did not score, he didn't score over 10 points per game. And 10 points in a single game in the finals, but has won finals MVP. I don't think you, could, you would ever, ever see that in real life, but... Without score, without averaging over 10 points a game, he has won Defensive Player of the Year, Rookie of the Year, and Finals MVP in his rookie season. Galaxy Opal Taco Fall, the GOAT. So yeah, averaging only 7.2 points per game, over 20 rebounds and 3 blocks, gives Taco Fall the Finals MVP, which is crazy. So I'm going to simulate one more season, um, and I'm just going to randomize free agency and just see what happens. Um... So I'm just gonna wait until free agency to see if we can go and get, I'm just gonna skip through the draft, skip through everything, and see if we can re-sign Taco, because if we can't, then it'll be a, be a little bit difficult, so. Okay, so I want to, I need to offer, if Taco Vol accepts this, I'll be delighted. I do not have enough tax, Cap room to sign Taco Fall. Are you sure I don't? So he's been offered one year. Okay, I wanna see what I can offer him. So I have to offer him Vets Minimum. Come offer him this. Oh, we've lost Taco Fall, unfortunately. So we're not gonna, we're gonna see a Taco Fall. I'm just gonna skip through all the free agency. Unfortunately, the Boston Celtics have lost Taco Fall. Okay, so I'm just going to simulate through a couple of days just to see where Taco Fall has gone. And let's see if the Celtics can go and get one up over Taco by winning a second NBA title without him. So, I'm going to disable CPU trade offers. I'm just going to leave the Celtics team as they are right now. 3-1, and 4-1 and one to start off the season. So, let's have a look to see where Taco Fall is right now. So, or league leaders, I'm sure, sure he's top of the rebounds per game. So, Taco's still with the Celtics. We still have Taco. So he was insulted by our offer. 
and then came back. Okay, so I simulated through. We didn't have enough money to buy him, but then we offered him exactly what I wanted to offer him at the start. Okay, so we still have Taco, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna simulate to the all-star break to see if he is an all-star. And then we're gonna simulate the rest of the season. Okay, so we have only won 20. So we've only won 20. So the Celtics have lost 21 games after losing only 13 last season. So look at the standings. So the Celtics are the fifth seed in the East. That is kind of crazy. Like league leaders in rebounds per game. He's not even leading the league in rebounds per game, is he? What's happened to Taco Fall? Has he been out injured for the year? Taco Fall has been out injured. Let's have a look at the um, season stats for Taco. So Taco has only been averaging 15.4 rebounds per game. How many games has he played? Recent games, 10th at first. No, he's been playing. He's been playing, just playing quite badly by the looks of things. So we're going to have a look at the All-Star team. So oh, he's not an All-Star starter this year. He's not even an All-Star at all. So after leading the team to an NBA championship, an All-Star starter and finals MVP in his rookie year, he seems to have just completely, he's completely just hit a wall. He just seems to be done. He seems to just be completely done with his... Uh, NBA career after one season, averaging less points, less rebounds, less everything in his second year in the league. So a 51 win season this year is not great. Anthony Edwards winning Rookie of the Year, Dennis Schroeder winning Sixth Man of the Year, Kawhi winning Defense Player of the Year, Furkan Korks winning Most Improved Player, with Nick Nurse winning Coach of the Year. See, does he make any of the teams? Who's Isaac Okoro? I made the, okay, all rookies second team. Okay, I clicked the wrong button. So um. That was All-NBA second team. So Ja actually makes the All-NBA second team. Okay, no Celtics players make any of the All-NBA teams again for the second year running. All He doesn't make either the All-Defensive teams either. LaMelo Ball making the All-Rookie first team. That's a really good LaMelo Ball, not going to lie. Um, Denny Avdia um, making it as well. Of course the Spurs draft Denny Avdia. Of course they draft him. Um, Onyeka Kongu making the All-Rookie second team. And yeah, so let's have a look just to see these the roster for the Celtics. Still got Taco, still got Tatum, still got Brown, still got Graham. Gordon Hayward has been injured. Bielitz is there, and obviously they lost DeMar DeRozan. And that's the only loss from last year, though, is DeMar DeRozan, is it? Daniel Tice has been... He's out for the season. I didn't think that was going to be enough of a factor to just completely throw off any sort of run. But Celtics ended up as the fifth seed in the Eastern Conference, which is not great. Not great at all. So, yeah, season stats in terms of rebounds per game. Taco is actually second to um, Andre Drummond and actually averaged more points per game, but, but the team was just struggling. He did lead the league, though, in blocks. I'm surprised he didn't make either of the all defensive teams, but it is what it is. Who knows? Maybe the Celtics could step up in the playoffs. And it's not looking like it. It is not looking like it. Lost two games. And they are down 3-1. Can they come back from a 3-1 lead against the Washington Wizards? And the Boston Celtics somehow fluke a 3-1 comeback against the Wizards. In game seven, um, Taco Fall had 22 rebounds. 5-7. One three for Tatum. 19 for Brown. 16 for Graham. And it looks like... Yeah, by the looks of things, Gordon Hayward is out for the playoffs. So, losing him and Daniel Tice is big from last year. However, two wins on the bounce. And take out the brooms. The Boston Celtics sweep the number one seed, Toronto Raptors. And just like that, the Boston Celtics in Game 7 make the NBA Finals to play the Portland Trailblazers. In Game 7, Taco Fall only had 11 boards and two blocks, which is not great. Gordon Hayward came back and stepped up big time. That seems to be a big factor in this. Gordon Hayward... I'm guessing came back for this, did he? You know, he didn't. They swept him without Gordon Hayward. Okay, so now we're going to have a look. So it looks like Luca and KP made the Western Conference Finals. So the Trailblazers, who still are led by McCollum and Lillard. They have Nazir Little, Malik Beasley. They got Willie Colley-Stein. That's basically the same Trailblazers team. And the Mavs, 
without Kristaps Porzingis, by the looks of things, still made the Western Conference Finals, which is a bit of a shock. And the Pelicans ended up making the... Um, and Pelicans beat the Clippers. And the Lakers didn't even make the playoffs. Wait, where's LeBron? Where's LeBron? LeBron led the league in points per game and did not make the playoffs in the West. Man, that is crazy. So we're just going to simulate this. We've already seen him lifting a title. And they sweep from the fifth seed. The Boston Celtics win two titles in a row. And Taco Fall winning his second finals MVP in as many years. Shooting 60% from the three-point line in the finals. So lads, that is pretty much it for the video. As we can see here, Taco... If Galaxy Oval Taco was in the NBA, he would be a complete revelation. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.